We're going to make a T-piece of unequal dimensions. I have a large diameter of 169 millimeters and a pipe diameter of 114 millimeters. I'll mark the center of the T-piece. That's 250 millimeters. In the compass, I've taken half of 114 millimeters. We're going to cut out these two half circles. Cut slightly angled because we'll come into contact with a weld seam. We need to create an angled edge because we'll come into contact with a weld seam. To achieve a good connection, it's important that the outside where the T-piece will be mounted is roughened. We're now applying glue on the seams. We mount the straight part of the Thermoflex sheet to the pipe. It's very important when you're mounting to make sure the ends align. I press it here. Not only here, but also on this side. From there, I work from the other side and bring it together. We'll now determine the length of the T-piece and we'll do that on the short side. We make the length 70 millimeters. From the Thermoflex sheet, we'll make the connecting T-piece. We've already determined the circumference. The circumference is 410 millimeters. 410 millimeters divided by two is 205 millimeters. And we divide 205 millimeters by two again. Then we ultimately have four equal sides. We're ready to make the T-piece. For the T-piece, we need some data. The connecting pipe diameter is 169 millimeters. There's an additional 13 millimeters on both sides. That gives us a size of 195 millimeters. 195 divided by two. Take this measurement in the compass. Take the first line you come across and mark the connecting radius there. Skip one line and do it again here. Turn the template over and go to the middle line. On the middle line, ensure that the curves drawn touch each other. Do the same at the ends. This is the layout for the T-piece. We've glued the ends of the T-piece. Make sure the glue is completely dry. Then we'll bring the parts together. If you have any questions about Thermoflex products, please visit the website.